So Jordan, I found here, you here in the wee hours of the morning and I want to ask you a few things. Uh, why do you get up so early? <laughs> um, I don't know if it has to do with circadian rhythms or just the idea that you're getting up well before the rest of the world, but I feel like I get so much more done when I start early as opposed to staying up really late and working then. Um, waking up with the sun just feels great. Now, uh, it's actually 7 o'clock and the sun is about to come up. Uh, you were actually here since five, so you were you were a little you were here before the sun. <laughs> yeah, well, it was it was peaking. It was still a little bit light outside. So you feel like there's um, like fire in the mind at this time of the day, or what do you feel like the energy is is housed at this point? What do you mean by that? Well, most people think that um, they wake up because the energy is is now traveling in the mind, and I believe that it's said between seven and nine or six and eight. That, that area, there's a high, high fire in the mind area, so it's great to meditate on thoughts. The thoughts are very silent. And, uh, I'm not sure if that's because of the actual time or just because I've spent the last three hours sleeping, a.k.a. in intense meditation, the best meditation that you can get, basically. <laughs> so, um, about, about getting up and getting a head start on everyone else, how does that... How does that play out in the rest of your day? How do you feel past this point? Fantastic. Super productive. Uh, if someone else wakes up at 10 o'clock, I have five hours on them of, of work. And when you wake up early, you, I, don't know, I feel like I have just ample time to do the things that I, that I know I need to do to feel good for the rest of the day, like uh, yoga, early morning meditation, uh, really taking my time to um, make a, a breakfast that's going to make me feel good. Instead of feeling like uh, I already have to go straight into work and answer emails and get back to people. Now, you were telling me uh, that you were having dreams recently and you were just having a little bit of dream therapy before I turned on this camera. And you felt that you were having dreams where it was the, that you needed to do this. So I'll let you elaborate on that. Yeah, I was, uh, I've been adapting to polyphasic sleep over the last couple of days and having a lot of issues. Because whenever I was taking a nap, I would have... Uh, repeated nightmares over and over. I would wake up three times within a 30 minute span and the, the dreams were all along the same lines, the same theme. Um, for example, one of them, uh, I was at a playground and there were parents that were sending their babies down a slide, but this, the babies like wouldn't get out of the way. There's no one that would pick them up at the bottom. So they would keep sending them down and they would hit each other. So I was racing to move the babies out of the way in time. And then as soon as I moved them onto the sand, then tentacles would start coming up through the sand and, and you're dragging them down. So it was like a, like kind of like whack-a-mole where I was just constantly having to, to move and it was very, very stressful. And that was a general theme. So I, I uh, finally figured out yesterday that I think that was because I wasn't giving myself enough um, alone time or just me time. So I guess the, the sensation was I'm always working and I can never catch up. So as soon as I shifted that, even just last night one time, stopping work at 10.30 instead of uh, working till, till like 1 or so like normal, <clears throat> uh, the dream stopped and I actually had a fantastic dream instead. And you could tell because when I came downstairs you, were, uh, you had a great energy and you're such a, at an early point in the morning and I've seen you in the early morning some days where I guess it was a nightmare that, that plagued you <laughs> Well, you're still like you're thinking about it and the energy's caught somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Waking up from those dreams, um, the, the heart rate was up and the energy was totally off. It would take at least an hour to get back to, to normal if I did get to, back to normal. So now most people would say that it's hard to wake up early. So what, what's one of the tricks that you have? <laughs> uh, the best trick is definitely setting the intention the night before of waking up at a specific time. And not only that, but also feeling great when you wake up. Um, there's, I don't know, there's something extremely powerful about saying that intention right before you go to sleep. Now, uh, when you say that to people, are you supposed to say it out loud? Yeah, yeah. It's definitely more powerful if you say it out loud. Words are stronger than thoughts, and actions are stronger than, than now, thoughts. Now, I can't stress how powerful that is. Before you go to sleep, you set the intention of what's going to happen as soon as the main brain turns back on. Yeah, I'm going to wake up at 5 a.m. and I'm going to feel great and totally energized despite having only gotten three hours of sleep. <laughs> and any last words? <laughs> Yeah, try it out tonight.